Pisces, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for July 2018. And Pisces, what a month. We've got a lot of retrogrades happening. We've got our biggest benefic planet coming out of retrograde, a couple eclipses. This is all very motionable energy because it's such changeable energy. And I think that typically you're one of the signs who's the best at adapting because you can kind of chameleon to go between um, the different energies, you know, not to mention you're mutable and that is very, very helpful to you. But we do have a lot going on with the moon and you are a water sign. So I think that there is just a lot of energy moving around this month and so if you don't quite energetically feel like yourself i would say this is the month not to be too terribly concerned about it if it gets extreme definitely look into it but definitely some changes and shifts happening this month so let's jump in and talk about this okay right at the beginning of the month we've got chiron who is transiting aries right now in your second house taking a retrograde now chiron transiting aries if you haven't watched that video already check it out it's definitely on the home page but we're already fighting for our identity right so in your financial sector you have been fighting for your identity you've been trying to be a different person you've been trying to go well what's my motive what's my purpose um can i do this there's a lot of doubt that comes along with chiron energy but you've been having a lot of really nice action you've been making progress at seeing yourself differently i think now with chiron taking this retrograde you're going back over. I think you're really looking at your limiting beliefs. What do you believe or what do you not believe that is stopping you from moving forward? And this is also a very big question for me with you guys right now about self-esteem, right? Have you been um, bolstering yourself up by something that is a false sense of self-esteem? And maybe this retrograde right here is helping you see it a little bit different where you're like, what am I trying to prove now? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know what I mean? And you get a lot of clarity. It's getting into the yucky and getting into the limited beliefs that show us the way out. So that's definitely what you're going to be working on. Now, Venus is going to be moving into Virgo, which is this is typically not a position that she really likes because Virgo is very nitpicky, but I feel like it's great for you. Virgo is your opposite energy. So the seventh house is getting hit. And because Virgo is so... Um, detail oriented and over daily routines and health and wellness and fitness and things like that and venus likes to attract things to wherever it's at you could find yourself being involved in a relationship that has something to do with fitness or you could find yourself in a, um, a, a romantic, maybe even situation that involves a lot of food, right? Venus loves to eat. Uh, Virgo likes to eat healthy things. So this could definitely be something that's happening there. It could also be a sweet change to your daily routines, right? Maybe you and maybe not even a romantic partner, but a business partner are having to go, wait a minute, we need to relook at the daily routine of how we're getting things done because this needs to make sense. There needs to be harmony here, right? Venus wants to bring harmony. So I think it's actually a really delicious energy. Um, even if you are single, this is a wonderful energy as well because it's just bringing harmony to your relationships. Now, as we get to the 10th, Jupiter is coming direct in the sign of Scorpio, which lights up your ninth house. Now, when Jupiter is retrograde, he's still our biggest benefic planet. So he's still trinkling down some benefits and opportunities and some abundance he's like little abundance over there you know but when he comes direct he gets to release everything that he's been working on for you so it kind of makes it rain you know what i mean now here in the ninth house you're also going to want to expand so if you do anything pisces that has to do with publishing broadcasting media um podcasting, writing that book, studying, licenses, certifications, any of those things, you're going to start to see some room to expand for sure right here. Now, where I get excited for you this month, Pisces, at least one area, is we've got this new moon partial solar eclipse at 20 degrees of Cancer, which is lighting up your fifth house of true love, joy, passion, self-expression, romance, children, all of these things. Now, this is our new moon for the month, so we're going to plant these seeds of intention what do we want here what are we trying to manifest right but we plant them in the dark we don't always know how this is going to work out but it's usually very very good and the new beginnings the fresh start plays out for about six months going forward instead of just four weeks so this is you're building something here you're speaking you're preaching you're living some kind of blessing here or you're at least starting to it's really great now, one of the other things things I think of with is with this Venus and Virgo here, you've just had a solar situation happen in your fifth house. 
this could be, if you are single, this could be romance coming to your table. Now I'll keep you in mind that Mars is still retrograde. So don't jump into the sack. Like just don't rush it. You don't have to rush anything. Give it time. Lead with the sensitivity, the intuitiveness that you have and give it time so that you don't crash it before it even gets off the ground, okay? Now, if you're already linked up, this is a wonderfully romantic energy. You know what I mean? Maybe you guys are starting something new. The fifth house is a place of conception and that's not just babies. You could be. There could definitely be baby news on the agenda this month for some of you. This is baby making kind of energy and it's at a new moon solar eclipse. It's almost like that little egg didn't know what was coming. You know what I'm saying? So this could definitely be some of that energy, but maybe you and your partner are starting fresh. You've been together for a hundred years. You just needed to freshen it up a little bit. Maybe you've been casually dating each other and you're just coming to another place. It's just a very close kind of energy. I really, really do think that this is something fresh for you. I also think that this is a wonderful start for your children, right? If that, if that happens to be the case or the situation, oh, this just came to me. You could be dating somebody, seeing somebody, and maybe you and their children are getting closer or something's changing in that child relationship that actually allows you to start fresh. Something like that. Very cool. Now, on the 22nd, the sun is going to move into Leo, light up your sixth house. So wherever the sun goes, it says, I want to be seen. I want vitality. Pay attention to me, right? So we know that your health, and this is physical health, the organs in your body, your mental health, your daily routine, um, your work, your work health, your coworker health, that's going to be on the agenda. But on the 26th, Mercury goes into retrograde here in Leo in this sixth house as well. So one of the things I think of is, oh my gosh, when Mercury touches my sixth house, I don't know how many times I have to re- do something. It's like I do this project, I think it's perfect, and I find out I missed some details. So don't be surprised because Mercury is our communication, decision-making, detail-oriented planet, and it's going to be facing backwards, not forwards. So where this is great is if you've got a project at work that kind of, it just is not quite where you want it, review it, re-edit it. This is a great energy for that. Even if it's something you think this is the stupidest thing I've ever worked on, re-look at it so you don't have to do it twice, okay? Save yourself. If there has been something in your health that you haven't necessarily dealt with, and I think um, sixth house, I always think of mental health, and this is mercury mental energy. So if you've got mental stuff sticking up here for you, you've really got to vo voice that, be vocal, get that out of your system. Because here's the thing. As we get to the 27th of the month, Pisces, we've got this full moon lunar eclipse happening in Aquarius. So this lights up your 12th house. Mars is already retrograde in your 12th house. So your 12th house is actually the quietest house for us and it's met with frustration. It's met with slowdown. It's met with that full moon that says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. We have to create a shift here, right? And so maybe what the shift is, and Mars is looking at your actions, what kind of actions are you taking? You know, Pisces, are you getting enough downtime? You tend to be a more introverted energy and you kind of got to downtime it in order to recharge. I'm a very extroverted energy. I, it gets too quiet for too long and I start going crazy, but not you. You tend to need what you need, some solitary time to, um, to get right, to get plugged back in. Are you taking care of yourself first? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you letting go of things? Another thing that's kind of coming through for me right now, Pisces, is that some of you may be in actual places of closure. You've had something in your life end, whether it's a relationship or something like that end, and you, you're not up to full steam yet. You're, you're trying to find your feet. You're trying to get there, but you're, you're not there quite yet. So you just may not feel like you're in your power um, as we get towards the end of this month, and that is okay. Instead of trying to go against the current, as they say, um, go backwards, relook at, re-edit, see what needs to be taken care of back there, see what needs to be released, especially in terms of your actions. Where are you giving too much, right? Are you being too giving, right? Maybe it's time to take, I need to take me a nap, okay? If that's something you need to do, you may need to call BS on it and move that forward. So it's going to be a really interesting month. I look forward to seeing how you go with the flow on, on many things. So please keep me posted. I always love to see 
how the forecast lines up for you and of course what you're getting yourself into so leave it in the comment section down below if you would be so kind like this video comment share subscribe and i look forward to seeing you my favorite fishies throughout the month okay